Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to another match on FIFA 18, the 2018 official FIFA World Cup Russia edition. So, today it is the second match in the group stage of this full tournament mode series that I'm doing with my home nation of England. And as you can see here, going up against Panama. So, last time out, game one of the group stage, we have obviously played against Tunisia and we managed to win that game 6-1. So, we are... Well, we were top of the group before Belgium played their next game against uh, Tunisia and ended up winning again. So as you can see, poor old Tunisia there, minus eight on the goal difference. And well, as most would say that they probably would feel that Panama is an easier competition than uh, Tunisia. So hopefully today we can get another big win and hopefully these guys can have another good performance and get some good form going against, well, going into the match against uh, Belgium in the final match of the group stage so I'm not even gonna try and attempt that name of this well the name of this stadium but we'll, without any further ado we'll jump straight into this one so I'm gonna keep the same lineup as the first game and hopefully we can make it a good one Hi there everybody, I'm Martin Tyler and the World Cup here in Russia is really gathering pace. We're into the second round of matches in this particular group. Alan Smith. Yeah, looking forward to it. Martin, both sets of players naturally have uh, got some nerves out of the system maybe after that first game and be hoping to produce their best here today. The match today is England against Panama. <laughs> Number four, Eric Geyer. Number 20, Gary. And now it's time for the national and anthems. Gary King. And number 11. This is the England side today. Jack Butland starts in goal. Gary Cahill starts with Phil Jones in central defence. Eric Dyer plays with Delhi Alley in the centre of the park. In attack, Harry Kane starts up top with Jamie Vardy. Thank you. Enjoy the game. These are the players lining up for Panama in this game. Two banks of four. 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. All right, here we go. Game two the of the group stage. Group. They came through unbeaten. Here we go. To World Cups has rarely been a problem. No, it hasn't. And uh, we've been here plenty of times before. You just hope on this occasion things are going to be a bit different, a bit more successful. So for those that did not Jordan see Anderson. my first game against Tunisia or haven't seen any of my sort of gameplay on FIFA 18, I do play on World Class. In this situation. Oh, here we go, we've got a bit of a attack there early on. I do play on World Class difficulty. I use a set of sliders from the FIFA OS community, which is basically a realistic set of sliders that makes the game a little bit less overpowered and more realistic. Besides that, everything is as you see it, except for this sort of wonky camera that I like to use. It makes it feel a little bit more realistic, I feel, when we use the, the broadcast camera. Oh, that would have been nice. Come on. The intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Shit. 
Oh my god! Wow! That came out of nowhere. What a finish! No saving that. Uh, so after winning 6-1 against Tunisia, we're already down one goal in the first sort of 10 minutes. Jesus. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Come Danny on, Rose. Joseph. Wake up. And only a certain number of places. Four guaranteed. Potential of a playoff for a fifth. And here's the shot. <gasps> Jesus. Across to it. That's gone behind for a corner. What is going on? He's put in the corner. Great oh. work by the goalkeeper. Wow, this Panama team is giving us serious issues right now. Get in there, Delhi. Could be dangerous. Hit it! Oh my god! Oh Jesus! So close! Well, that's gone back there to the young goalkeeper Jack Butland. I'll put it through! Wow! Here we go! Yes! Defenders behind. Great goal. There's Finally. No catching him once he's away, is that? It is certainly the kind of match that we thought we were coming here to see with the better team playing the better football. Yeah, and they've handled that expectation, haven't they, in terms of being strong favourites. So fair play to them for that. All right, well, there's the equaliser. Now it's time to try and go one ahead. Come on, England. Level. Both sides have scored here now. It's good attacking play. Buddy. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well worked goal from the team that's... Looking well oiled and looking very well drilled. They've been the better side. They've played with great panache up to this point. And that goal really sums up the way they have been playing. Excellent. Well, this is what you call leading from the front. A strike from the skipper. Yeah, he's passed oh. up. <laughs> Four passes. Perfectly accurate. Boom. 2-1. In front here are England. He's not going to be able to carry on. A substitute is coming on. All right, well, hopefully we can get Trippier back for the next game because we're going to need him against Belgium for sure. The play, yeah, he'd rather the ball was in the other half and they were playing their football in the opposing half. Oh, it's in. Oh, what a save. We are all over him at the half-time whistle, but we've got the lead, that's all that matters. A little bit of a scary start, but two awesome goals to get into the lead. Underway, All right, second, second half, half underway. Match in Russia, England. Oh, quick turnover. Well, they've been good value, Martin. They really have. Knocked the ball about really well. Jordan Henderson. Danny Rose. It's Jamie Vardy. Hit it, Hendo. Oh, what a goal! 
There it is. One minute into the first, I'm uh, sorry, second half. We finally get that insane goal with Henderson. Directed. Well, we say it so often, but I think that one was truly unstoppable for the keeper. The goal, wherever you look no at one it, could say that. Very well taken. Not even Neuer, Courtois, De Gea, none of them would have got to that. That was an awesome finish. A reminder 3 1 it is now. Got a chance in this part of the pitch. He's got his shot off now. Oh, sensational! Sensational. Two for him on the day, and two very well taken goals. <laughs> peek at that goal four one one team really on their game today the other very off color early minutes right to these latter minutes now Torres. And here's the shot. It was Ooh. a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, that was well, a nice he strike. Did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed. I thought it. he was going to cross. I didn't think he was going to take us take a whack at it far out. Young going forward well. Clever work from Ashley Young. He's beaten his Jamie Vardy. Oh, he's getting so team. close to a hat trick. Stop oh! Had no right to get a hand. And now the shot. Oh, there we go. Jesse Lingard. The substitute has made his mark on the game. They haven't switched off Alan. Later Bad game, giveaway. Another one extended the lead. Oh, not letting up at all. Showing their ruthless side. Fair play to them. Wow. That's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Well. After the first 10 minutes, I thought, holy crap, we have a game on our hands here. You know, we, <laughs> we're going to need to step up today. Started off so slow after our sort of overconfidence win against Tunisia. But then ever since the first goal, it's just gone uphill ever since. So, Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Buddy. Oh. Well, just as he gets called man of the match, he almost got his hat trick. So close. That can't have been that far away. Roman Torres. And there it is. We are going through. With this match, win, that means we are officially out of the group it? stage so as to whether or not we will, well, finish the top of our group. We'll see how we go against Belgium next week. But, wow, what another big win. We've had a 6-1 and a 5-1 win. What a brilliant I mean, wow. performance from this fella. Well, Almost got a hat-trick for Vardy on multiple occasions. Look, seven shots in total, but... Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. In, in real life, definitely Rashford I would choose over Vardy, but on FIFA, I, I do prefer using Vardy over Rashford, so another big win. All right, so stats in the end, 5-1, 24 shots. Uh, unfortunately, only uh, <laughs> only five of them went in. I mean, we had 16 shots on target, so one in three uh, sort of shot accuracy. Actually, no, sorry. 66, yeah, sorry, two and three shot accuracy. I was looking at goals. Yeah, one in three shots on target went in. There we go, that's better. But uh, yeah, no. Possession, 60%, so we had a lot of the ball once again. Uh, committed three fouls, but thankfully we've had no yellow cards or red cards so far, so we've got everyone still in a clean check going into the round of 16. So seven corners in the end, two offsides. But yeah, Vardy scores two, Lingard gets one. Kane gets one, and of course Henderson with an immaculate strike. 
and we are moving on to the round of 16. Alright, so we're just going to quickly head out to the main menu again and uh, just go through the groups, see what's going on. As you can see here, we should be on top, which we are. Goal difference of 9. And as you can see, next game up, Kaliningrad Stadium. England versus Belgium. That's going to be the big one. That's going to be the big decider in real life. I think we'll finally see in that game as to how far this team can really take us this year into the World Cup with England. So we'll go around the groups and see how they contrast to real life. It's an, I always find it interesting to see how um, the FIFA 18 sort of groups, uh, well, how FIFA 18 decides the, the results versus how they do end up being in real life and as you can see here group a uruguay is out so russia and egypt have made it through now in real life obviously russia and uruguay probably at this point will go through uh definitely russia being the shock of the tournament so far playing really really well considering how uh well how they their sort of tournament build up and and what everyone was saying about their squad going into the match now group b spain and portugal pretty much what we all expected there uh, group C, unfortunately, my sort of second nation of Australia, as you can tell by my Aussie accent, I did sort of grow up in Australia for a while. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, they missed out by one point uh, over Denmark. So France wins that group. Argentina, now this is the shock of the tournament in real life. Argentina probably not even going to make it out of the group stage uh, at this point. But Croatia uh, manages to get through, which is probably, again, what you'd expect. I would have thought Iceland would have finished on top of Nigeria, but... Uh, anyway, moving on to Group E. So, Costa Rica, the big name here, gets out of Group E. Brazil second, Serbia third, and Switzerland fourth. I probably would have said Switzerland and Brazil in that group, but, yeah, interesting one nonetheless. Now, this is another big shock. So, Germany probably looking like they're not going to make it out the group stage at this rate unless they have some crazy turnaround um, today. Actually, Germany are playing today having um, on this day that I'm actually recording this, so... I'm not quite sure as to how it's all going to turn out yet. We'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, Mexico definitely should have got out of that group as they have in real life. So Mexico and Germany in that group. Uh, England, Belgium in ours. Just, yeah, once again, it's all going to come down to England and Belgium in the uh, in that third group stage match. Now, England play Panama tomorrow in real life. I know we played them today on the official game, but... Yeah, I mean, I feel like that game's probably going to be slightly easier than Tunisia. I mean, Tunisia, we should have really won that, like, 4-1. We should have. We, we shanked three sitters, and then we had two obvious penalties. So, yeah, we should really have had at least four or five goals in that game. But anyway, moving on to Panama. Hopefully, we can actually finish those. And, of course, Group H is the group after us. So, this is yet to be completed, this group. But Poland on top. I probably would have said Senegal and Colombia moving out, sorry, yeah, Poland and Colombia moving out of that group and Senegal coming in a close third, but right now it is Colombia not making it through. So, really, really fun game today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was another big win and probably a little bit of an unrealistic win, but nonetheless, I think we showed what England can do if they can just put it all together and, and, and have a perfect match. So, moving on to the next one, Belgium next week. Stay tuned for that, and hopefully we can get three wins in the three group stage matches.